next on UCF Sports Night, a new place to call home. We get a tour of the golf program's brand new facility. Plus all the highlights, including our Sports Night Plays of the Week. All that and more next on UCF Sports Night. UCF Sports Night is brought to you by UCF TV. Today's show is also presented in part by Bright House Networks. See how bright life can be. By Holler Classic, the official automotive group of the UCF Knights. And by Coca-Cola. Welcome to the Coke side of life. Hey there and welcome to UCF Sports Night. I'm Jeff Sharon. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. The spring sports are coming down the final stretch as the softball team headed out west to El Paso for the Conference USA Tournament this week. But first, the baseball team continued its big push as they welcomed two in-state rivals in midweek games. Let's take a look at the highlights. The week started with UCF facing FIU on the home diamond, and Austin Hudson became the story for the Knights. He came in in relief and tossed five solid frames, giving up just two hits and striking out five Golden Panthers. Shane Brown also came through once again for UCF at the plate. Here he smacks a two-run double to left center, extending his hit streak to 10 games. It's his second double-digit game hit streak of the season. However, FIU would come out on top in the end, 7-4. The next day, the Knights took on their rivals to the north in Stetson, and this would be DJ Hicks's day. Second inning, he goes deep for a solo homer here. And then later that same inning, Chris Duffy duplicates that feat, a home run of his own, giving the Knights a big lead. Stetson would come back and retake the lead, but in the seventh inning, the Knights broke through once again. After three runs came in on walks and hit batsmen, Hicks comes up with the bases loaded, and he absolutely unloads. A massive clout over the scoreboard in right field, and that put the Knights up for good. A grand slam home run for DJ. He would then take the mound and close out a 14-9 UCF victory. Uh, yeah, I was looking for something inside. I saw the wind change a little bit, so I was looking for something inside to drive, at least to the right side for the guy on third. And, uh, Missed the first one, like I said, and the second one I got. One of the things we try to emphasize is that we need to dictate the tempo of the game, the energy level and those kind of things. We control the tempo of the game and the energy level, and that's what's got to make sure we maintain. Bottom line is those guys did that because the momentum continues to sustain throughout the game. The softball team was out in El Paso, Texas for the Conference USA Tournament, facing Marshall in the first round. Natalie Land went two for three at the plate with a double, but the herd got two big runs late, and despite one last rally, the night season came to an end out west. Final score, two to one. UCF finishes the season at 27 and 27, a sad end to an eventful season, but the Knights look forward to the 2010 season with a great deal of promise. Baseball was out on the road for the weekend facing the number two ranked Rice Owls in Houston and the weekend started great for UCF with a 5-0 victory on Friday night, the second time UCF has defeated a team ranked number two in school history. Caleb Graham was the key. He tossed six and a third innings of shutout ball. Rice would exact some revenge the following day. Despite a home run from Eric Kalstrom, the Owls' bats were too much for UCF and they took a big 10-2 win on Saturday. So in the rubber game on Sunday, the Knights fought back valiantly, but they would fall 8-7. The Knights led 7-4 late and had a chance to tie it in the ninth inning, but Austin Smith was thrown out on a play at the plate for the final out of the game. Kyle Sweat gave up just one earned run in five innings of work against the number two team in the country. Over to Gainesville in the Women's Golf NCAA Regionals, and congratulations to Stephanie Connolly of UCF, who fired a career-low 68 in the final round on Saturday, putting her in second place overall at even par and earning herself a spot in the NCAA Championships in Owings Mills, Maryland later this month. UCF finished tied for 17th in the regional as a team. And finally, the track and field team finished the regular season at home at the UCF Twilight, and personal records continued to fall all over the place, including LaKendra Thames in the discus. She tossed an NCAA regional qualifying mark and personal best of 49.34 meters 
That's longer than 161 feet. It felt just easy and smooth. I, I think about like thinking smart and not hard. So it just felt really easy. Just I have to pump it up, step it up to the next level and get ready to throw farther than I've been throwing before because I know I have it in me. Other records that fell included Chantille Blackburn setting a new school record in the 1500 of 433.61. I'm very happy, you know, I'm a senior now and, you know, this is my last homie, so uh, I'm just happy that I've worked so hard and just never gave up and been there for my teammates and stuff, so I just feel great. Also, Dion Thomas won the triple jump with a qualifying mark, and Sheila Paul tied her own school and freshman record in the 100 meters. Three other athletes and the 4x100 relay team all put up regional qualifying marks, a good sign heading into the conference championships in Tulsa next week. And for more news and scores, log on to UCFathletics.com, your online home for UCF sports. Well, don't go away. We are only just getting started here on UCF Sports Night. Coming up next, the golf programs have a brand new home, and we get a tour of it when we return. Fans, UCF Knights Tour 2009 is on the road. You can talk with UCF coaches from all sports about their programs. For more information on dates and when the tour comes to your area, visit UCFAthletics.com. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. Both of UCF's golf programs have made some news this year and they've brought home some trophies as well. And now they finally have their own place to store all those trophies. The brand new UCF golf facility is open for business up at Twin Rivers Golf Club just north of campus. And we got an exclusive behind the scenes tour of the place. Here now an inside look at UCF's brand new golf facility in our Sports Night Spotlight. Hi, I'm Nick Kleiner. I'm the Director of Golf and Men's Golf Coach at UCF, and this is our brand new facility, and we're going to take a tour around the building and inside as well. We started this facility in March of 2007, and uh, here we are today, a finished product, and we're excited. Our new facility here at UCF is, is at Twin Rivers Golf Club, and this is our driving range tee box here that we hit, hit our long shots, and we have a huge short game area as well, which we're going to see in one second. This is our short game facility here. It's about 145 yards across. You can hit four wedge shots, full nine irons. We have two huge greens and, and two sand traps there to work on our games so we can become the best team in the country. The, the top 25 schools, which, which the men's golf team is here at UCF, uh, have great facilities and this helps us in recruiting and also in player development. So it's very comparable to what other schools are having these days. We have two putting greens. This one's about 9,000 square feet. It's a tip eagle, really uh, high tech, ultra dwarf grass. And lots of slope, lots of movement, and it's a great place to work on your pitch game, your chip game, and your, and your putting. That's what's going on, on the outside with the short game facility. And let's go inside and take a look at the uh, high tech stuff. This is kind of the foyer area right here where you walk into the facility from the front door. And, and we have uh, women's showers and bathrooms, and men's showers and bathrooms. And you kind of walk into the the uh, centerpiece of the building, which are the two hitting bays, and come on in and we'll go check it out. This is the hitting bay on the left side of the building, and uh, we have a garage door on both hitting bays that rolls up so you can hit from in to out. Our hitting bays are state-of-the-art with the V1 technology, and you can see the, the LCD screen here and it, be able to look at your golf swing and make rehearsal swings or practice swings, if you want to call it that, to work on your golf game and also get instant feedback on live video. So it's a great way to recruit and also a great way to develop our players that we currently have. What we can do here is we can take a, a player and we can make a full golf swing and as soon as they hit, it'll automatically video and we can draw lines on the screen, we can analyze their swing plane, their body pivot, um, their eye line, their stance, their ball position, everything to do with the golf swing we can do right here on the video system. And they also can email their golf swings to any swing instructor in the country uh, to get feedback. This is our uh, player's lounge. We got a nice 42-inch uh, LCD on the top with satellite TV. And uh, we have a little table, chairs, and, and a little couch and everything for the kids to hang out and, and uh, take a little break, maybe away from the heat, and uh, hopefully come in here and maybe study sometime. 
This is uh, my office here at the facility, and uh, got uh, our Conference USA champion trophy here from 2009, our runner-up from 2006. We're, we're just moving in, so we don't have a lot of pictures and everything. We're going to have golf paraphernalia everywhere, and we'll have all of our trophy cases from all of our tournaments. We won, we won five times the last two years. We'll have all of our team titles in here and our individual titles, and we'll have all the academic All-Americans and all the All-Americans will be out uh, outside of the foyer area. All right, thank you for taking the time to tour our facility. It's, it's a great place for UCF golf men's and women's to call home. And, and uh, don't forget to come out to the Southeast Regional next week at Red Tail Golf Club here in Sorrento, Florida, where the men's team is going to be a four seed and, and trying to advance to the NCAA National Championship. Well, don't forget the men's golf team takes part in the NCAA Southeast Regionals this coming week up at Red Tail Golf Club in Sorrento, Florida, up in Lake County. For more information, visit ucfathletics.com. Don't go away. Coming up next here on UCF Sports Night, we've got our plays of the week, and also we check in with athletic director Keith Tribble in Night's Talk. Stick around. We're back in a moment. Fan season tickets for UCF football in 2009 are available now. For more information, including new payment options, contact the ticket office at 407-UCF-1000 or visit ucfathletics.com. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. Time to talk a little golf with head women's golf coach Emily Klein joining us. Coach, how are you? Good, thank you. Congratulations on uh, finishing up the last two events. You guys play second in Conference USA, earn a berth to the NCAA Southeast Regionals, and uh, a solid finish to the season. Yeah, we had a really good end of the season. You know, I think we, you know, always looking back, um, hope to play a little better here and there, but overall we, we finished very strong. and. Um, having Stephanie Connolly make it to the NCAA Finals is really exciting for our program. That was my next question about you was uh, about Stephanie Connolly making it all the way to Owings Mills, Maryland, uh, playing uh, later on in the week. Uh, how proud are you of the effort that she put forth? Oh, I'm really proud of her. She played a very solid tournament up at the Regional Championship and, and um, just really showed what she's made of and how well she can play. I mean, I hope she can take Job. it forward and really nice do well at the, at the Finals. Our last segment really we good. talked with uh, your counterpart on the men's side, head coach Nick Kleinert, about the new facility. He gave us a tour. Uh, let me ask you, what is your favorite part of that new facility? I think the whole facility is great. You know, it's just been so good for our program and for recruiting and bringing in new um, top talent. And I think, you know, having the video equipment so we can make sure that the swings are really on all the time, as well as the short game facility. I mean, it's just a, an unbelievable place, and we're very proud of it. That's one of the things that Coach Kleiner demonstrated to us was, the, was that V1 swing computer that's in there, which I thought is the most spectacular golf video game I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, what, what is it about technology like that that just makes your guys' job that much easier? Well, I mean, seeing a swing in slow motion is much easier than seeing it with the naked eye. So we can go in there and pick apart different details that we wouldn't be able to otherwise and make sure that our student athletes um, stay on top of their game. How do you, tell me about like the future of women's golf now here at UCF. You know, you have something to build off of here, off of this year with the finish at the, at the Conference USA and the NCAAs. Uh, what are you most looking forward to for your program going forward? You know, we just want to get better each year. Um, we've got the capability of being one of the top programs in the country and so you know just keep bringing in new talent and um, we've got three wonderful freshmen coming in next year and we'll be a very young team but we have a lot of talent and we can go pretty far and it'll be a lot of fun we already can't wait till next fall when the season starts and again I know it seems it, it seems hard to believe but you know golf being a year-round sport really in the NCAA your guys work really never ends no, and, and we have a very tough schedule. We start off Labor Day weekend at the Hooters match play, um, which is an honor to be invited back to this year. So it was, we're very excited, and we'll play a full strong schedule, nine events um, over the course of the year and then postseason, and, and um, you know, hopefully we put up some low rounds. All right, and we're looking forward to it. Congratulations on an excellent finish to this season, and uh, thanks once again, and best of luck uh, over the summer, and we'll see you again 
in the fall. Thank you. All right, head coach Emily Klein, UCF Women's Golf. Don't go away. Coming up next here on UCF Sports Night, we've got some news and notes for you and also our plays of the week. Don't go away. We're back in a moment. Fans, UCF Knights Tour 2009 is on the road. You can talk with UCF coaches from all sports about their programs. For more information on dates and when the tour comes to your area, visit UCFAthletics.com. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. Plays of the Week are on deck, but first let's check in once again with Athletic Director Keith Tribble in our Night's Talk segment. And with the summertime right around the corner, that means that it's time to prepare for the 2009-2010 season. So we decided to ask, in addition to attending events, how can I get involved in UCF Athletics? One of the most important things you could do for any athletic program is not be a fan. But second to that is supporting that, that organization, supporting that program. You know, there are times when people come to me and say, well, what can I do? You know, I love UCF, I love the student athletes, I want to be involved. And I tell them, come to the games, one, but secondly, financially support us by being a donor to our Golden Knights Club. We have many different areas that they can uh, participate in uh, because all that money helps not only in our facilities, but it helps in our scholarships, which, as most of our fans know, is a, it, it, it increases every every year, and if you and, and it goes to helping up building our facilities. So you take the facilities, your scholarships, and, and uh, the opportunity to to help the program grow is going to be very important. Time now for some news and notes. UCF made more headlines in the classroom this year. The athletic department compiled an overall academic progress rate of 962 out of 1,000, according to the NCAA. Five UCF teams, baseball, women's basketball, women's soccer, women's golf, and women's tennis, all recorded perfect APRs of 1,000 for this academic year. The school's conference championship teams fared well in the classroom as well. Women's basketball had the highest APR for any women's hoops team in the state of Florida at 978. And men's golf was second in Conference USA in APR, racking up a 982. Overall, every program at UCF scored above the NCAA's Mendoza line of 925 or higher. In softball news, this year's team set a new program record picking up five postseason awards from Conference USA. Sophomore Tiffany Lane made the all-conference first team. It's the third consecutive year that UCF has placed at least one player on the all-CUSA first team. Also, Brianne Javier and Abby McLean made the all-conference second team. And Natalie Land and Vanessa Perez were named to the conference's all-freshman team. And honors for UCF tennis this past week. Blaze Schwartz was named All-Conference USA second team on the men's side. And Katie Orletsky was named the league's newcomer of the year on the women's side. Also, LB Soro and Jenny Frizzell were named All-Conference USA second team in doubles. Time for our Sports Night Plays of the Week. Play number three, Chris Duffy's been heating up as the season winds down. And this week's baseball game against Stetson was no exception. Here he goes the opposite way, high and deep and out of here, helping the Knights to an early lead over the Hatters. Play number two from track and field. What a great moment for LaKendra Thames. Here in the discus, she unleashes a throw of 49.34 meters. That's better than 161 feet. It's a new personal record and an NCAA regional qualifying mark. Congrats to LaKendra for coming through in the clutch. But play number one belongs to DJ Hicks and his great night against Stetson. Base is loaded in the seventh inning and DJ goes deep. A long grand slam home run over the scoreboard in right and into the parking lot. Watch it again as DJ gets a hold of this one. His second homer of the night 
leading UCF to a 14-9 victory over their rivals from Stetson. And those are your Sports Night Plays of the Week. It's the final week of sports on campus as we look at the week ahead. It starts with baseball on the road, though, as they face their old foes from Stetson up in DeLand Tuesday night at 6.30 p.m. You can see the game on Bright House Sports Network. Then the team is back home for the final series of the regular season. They take on Houston at the baseball complex. Game one is on Thursday night at 6.30 p.m., followed by game two Friday at the same time, and game three Saturday at 1.15 p.m. You can see all of those games live on UCFAthletics.com. Closer to home this weekend, the men's golf team is in the NCAA Southeast Regionals at Redtail Golf Club in Sorrento up in Lake County, the same place where they won the Conference USA title a couple weeks ago. It's a three-round tournament going Thursday through Saturday. Track and field is on the road for the postseason. They're heading to Tulsa for the Conference USA Track and Field Championships. That event goes Thursday through Saturday as well. And it's a big weekend for rowing as they head to Oak Ridge, Tennessee for the South and Central Region Championships, taking place Saturday and Sunday. And finally, next week, the baseball team goes to Hattiesburg, Mississippi for the Conference USA Baseball Championships, hosted by Southern Miss. The double elimination tournament goes Wednesday through Sunday, and you can hear the Knights action on UCFAthletics.com and the Knights flagship station, AM740, the game. And don't forget to catch the season finale of UCF Sports Night, debuting Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. on Sun Sports, and also airing Tuesday and Thursday on Bright House Sports Network, which is channel 47 on Bright House Cable in Central Florida and the Tampa Bay area, as well as all week on UCF TV, which is Bright House Digital Channel 1 in Central Florida. Check your local listings for details. And as always, for all the latest news and scores from all UCF sports, check us out on the web at ucfathletics.com. And of course, if you want to see this episode again or you want to catch any of our archived episodes of UCF Sports Night, you can anytime you want online. All you have to do is log on to www.ucf.tv. Well, that'll do it for us for this week. For all of us here at UCF Athletics and UCF TV, I'm Jeff Sharon saying thank you so much for watching and go Knights! Hey, this is LT from 1011 WJRR. You're listening to the best sounds of area music. UCF Athletics, Access Magazine, and WJRR are proud to support local artists. You can find more great artists by going online at www.wjrr.com and also accessmag.com. And by listening to Native Noise each and every Sunday at 11 o'clock. UCF Sports Night has been brought to you by UCF TV. Today's show is also presented in part by Budweiser, the perfect balance of flavor and refreshment, open up a world of taste. By the energy-saving conservation programs of Tico People's Gas. And by Centex Homes, proud to support UCF Athletics.